Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I got some shit that I want to talk to you about. And I'm trying to be in a hush holotone as possible because I got neighbors sleeping and I'm recording this video at 1238 in the morning, but I don't care. So Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. just went off the air and ended in a draw, even though Mike Tyson pretty much kicked the shit out of, of, um, of um, Roy Jones Jr., you know, Mike Tyson's still showing why he's the baddest MF on the planet. Um, and Roy Jones Jr. looked pretty good as well. You know, you got to give credit to both them fighters, man. But I had to make this video because Jake Paul, I didn't think he would do it, but he did. Jake Paul shocked the world. Well, not really, but Jake Paul knocked out. I mean, completely knocked out Nate Robinson. I mean, I'm talking about, man, this felt like Rocky IV where Drago was going up against Creed and Drago beat Creed so bad that Creed unfortunately passed away. And that's kind of what it felt like watching this Nate Robinson fight. Dude, Jake was controlling most of the fight. Nate Robinson had no defense whatsoever. I mean, I'll give Nate Robinson credit. Respect to him, man. Former basketball player, former slam dunk competition. Um, Nate Robinson, we got to give him his props. We got to give him respect, even though he's pretty much going to be one of the biggest memes and a meme most likely for the rest of his days. But you got to give Nate Robinson credit, dog. This man came into this fight. He was the one that called out Jake Paul in the first place. And he fought Jake Paul. You know what I mean? He he took the challenge and he stepped up. Most people, well, I think everybody would want to fight Jake Paul. So he, he took the challenge and he stood up and he wanted to face Jake Paul. And Jake Paul accepted. And here we go. Now, Nate, now Nate Robinson, he was coming out swinging. You know what I mean? He was coming out swinging like to the point where Snoop Dogg, who was hilarious on commentary by the way they didn't they didn't have snoop dogg on a commentary more but snoop dogg was like hold on calm down player you know you you running out there with uh basketball shoes on i mean nate was coming out the box quick to the point where i thought oh wait a minute nate might get an upset here but jake doing what he doing he knocking nate down nate goes down one time nate's back up he knocks nate down a second time when it looks like nate's not getting back up he gets back up and then eventually knocks him out completely and nate is damn near dead not completely dead but knocked you know what i mean i mean this jake paul went completely what craig did to debo on friday that that's how crazy that 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 uh, knockout was, dude. Like how Conor McGregor completely dominated Cowboy Cerrone last year at UFC. So, yeah, man, that, that was the fight. Like I said, man, respect to Nate, to Nate. But this man had no defense whatsoever. You know what I mean? Like when he was sitting in the corner of the first round, I already said, oh, yeah, there's no way this dude, with the way he's... With the way he's going, there ain't no way that he's going to, you know, last these eight rounds. Like, I'll be surprised if he lasts the second round. And what happens in the second round? Gets knocked out by Jake Paul. Yeah, man. So, that was it, man. That's crazy. Um, What else I was going to say? So, Jake Paul, he does a post-fight interview. You know, he gives respect to Nate D. To, Jesus, like I said Nate Diaz. To Nate Robinson. Um, you know, but obviously Jake Paul calls out, obviously Conor McGregor. I mean, he was on his brother's podcast calling out Conor McGregor saying, I'm going to beat, uh, Conor McGregor. I believe he even called out Dylan Dennis. I believe I don't, I don't know who else he called out, but he mostly, he called out Conor McGregor and we all know how big Conor McGregor is known throughout the, you know, um, Obviously, the UFC, probably, if not UFC's biggest star, their biggest drawer. So, 
He obviously calling out Conor McGregor. Uh, we saw after his uh, first professional fight with Gibb, where he knocked him out in like 18 seconds in the first round, obviously calling out KSI, talking about, oh, yeah, I'm going to get revenge for my brother Logan Paul for what he did to KSI, for what KSI did to him. So, yeah, man, Logan, Jake Paul firing all shots. He fought, he, he's stepping up, and he's challenging everybody. So, Jake Paul, man, I don't, I'm be, I'm be honest with you people because I like to keep it 100% real. I'm not a Jake Paul fan. I think Jake Paul is, I can't stand Jake Paul. For, I think, the, I think the dude is cringe. I think the dude is overrated. And the dude's fan base is just crazy. Like, they just completely think that he's the greatest YouTuber that ever lived on the, on the YouTube site. Like, that when there's plenty of YouTubers that way more better than Jake Paul is. So, like I said, man, I don't care if Bill is disliked, bro, but Jake Paul, man, I, I, I'm not really a huge fan of the dude. I never was a huge fan. I always thought the dude was cringe. Even when he was on Disney Channel, I was like, bro, this dude is not funny and this dude is not cringe. This dude is the type of person that will laugh at his own jokes. You know what I'm saying? But he came in tonight and he he shot me because I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I had a feeling that, you know, I kind of wanted, I had a sicky feeling that Jake Paul was going to win. I was kind of hoping that Nate would win, like Nate would pull out the shocker, but he didn't, which I was speechless, like how Titus O'Neil was after uh, the 5 5 Funhouse match at Mania, where he was like, I don't even know how to react to all this. So, yeah. So, obviously, Paul was like, I'm going to make more music. Um,. If Paul does fight again, I could see him potentially face KSI. He sure as hell ain't going to fight Connor. You know what I mean? Like, like, see, here's the thing, Jake. Here's the thing, bro. Just because you knocked out two guys in the first and second round doesn't mean you can eventually call up guys like Connor McGregor, someone who, let's be real, would destroy them and kill Jake Paul, in an, especially in the MMA ring, maybe in, even in a boxing ring. And plus, Connor's got no time for Jake Paul. He's getting ready to fight um, Dustin UFC in January. He's training for lightweight, taking the title from you know from the former champion who was retired, Khabib. Love Khabib, but yeah, man. So crazy knockout and poor Nate, dude. Cause I I was on Twitter. Social media, seeing the memes, dude, Nate is just getting clogged by the fans, dude. Like, you already know, man, Nate, Nate's not getting invited to any more cookouts because poor Nate. I, I low key feel bad for him because he's a, he's a meme now. He's legit a meme now. So hopefully Nate can recover from this, even though we, some people may think he might not. But, yes, Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones, they went at it, but I think – more, you know, not only people going to talk about Mike Tyson fight, but people going to talk about Jay Paul, mainly because how this YouTuber literally knocked out a, a legit YouTuber, knocked out a former NBA professional NBA basketball player, bro. That's crazy. And it's weird now because now, Many people look at can look at Jake Paul and be like, oh man, this YouTube boxing they ain't they ain't messing around. They, you know, I thought Jake Paul was coming in here playing around, but he taking this shit serious. You know what I mean? So I ain't gonna drag out this video long, everybody. Uh I'll see y'all later. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um I know I did. Um, even though like I said, if you haven't already seen my last video, the AEW winners coming predictions, go see that. Uh, get my predictions on that. Um, yeah, I've really been uploading content because of Thanksgiving break, but it is what it is. So I just want to make this video, y'all. As Nate Robinson got knocked the fuck out, period.